Welcome to another episode of Gamer Zero, where we spread that gaming truth like a virus. I'm your host, T. Hill. So, today's topic, I really want to be clear about what I'm trying to do. Um, I look at IGN, and here we go again. It's like that song. Here we go. And I won't go into that, because I'm karaoke, not my thing. But, IGN, Greg Miller. There's a point when enough becomes enough. You guys are thinking, what the hell? What did Greg Miller and IGN do again? You look at their review of Dead Island, and I say this for journalists 24-7, and it's like either they just choose not to listen, and they refuse to use the gray matter that's in between their ears. And so I know I beat this horse to death, but let me just get to my points. Consistency, 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 and remembering that what you say, people do hear you when they do remember, and sometimes they call you out on the shit you say. And you guys probably wonder, why and what about Dead Island? Well, you give it an 8.0 score. What does that mean? What is an 8.0? If you're going, like, statistically, that is a low-ass B. What is that in high school? That means your ass is barely passing. You barely got out of that C range. So when you read Greg Miller, the review that Greg uh, Greg uh, Miller put up for IGN, uh, he crams all of his complaints into the last paragraph. And then you listen to the video review, and now you're starting to get some con contradictions here. He says, in one hand, I can't wait to just get through this review so I can go back to playing the game. Do you remember back in high school when a teacher would ever say, I'm, I can't wait to have you back as another student because you barely scraped that B by. Barely scraped that B by. And that's the kind of student you want because you just can't wait to have that student back because they just barely got above the av of what's expected of you. A low B, barely above a C, means you barely did above what was expected of you. And then you say, I can't wait to get back to it, and it really shows that you didn't put any effort into your review, Greg Miller. It's barely a page. As a written piece of work, it's a, it's a joke. And yes, I don't have the title in my hand, um, but you can tell the whole review is rushed. He just wanted to get through it so he can consume on and then you find some contradictions the titles of 30 uh each playthrough is 30 hours he beat in 20 apparently no one's calling him out on that um and you see game websites and magazines like game informer who beat vanquish in two hours and then it comes out that they played it on easy mode and it's just kind of stuff like this that did you finish the game before you wrote your review um and I know some journalists that don't finish the game before they review. They 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 take up uh, a sample of the game and that's their review. I personally don't review a game until I've finished it because how the hell do I know if the game doesn't change for better or take a dip for the worse? Um, so that aside, his main gripes are it had some graphical bugs and that he thought the opening was flat. So that knocks it down. So it barely got by, but you can't wait to get back to it. I keep I'm bit, I'm drilling these home because I want people to remember that IGN is not infallible. They are not perfect. The review system that they use is broken. I want you guys to remember this because IGN is one of the top, 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 top game journalist companies in the industry. It gets more hits than so many others. And I hear this, and then I look at this shitty-ass review that's barely put together, but yet contradicts what the video review says. So, how do you guys feel? Everyone says, oh, it's a good score. If you're barely passing, if you just barely did above what's expected, it's these are things that need to be beaten to death, so that way you guys understand that when... You read a review and you listen to a review, don't let it dictate your purchasing dollars. Because that tells me that Dead Island, from what I read out of that, if I didn't listen to their video review and I don't have a common brain, uh, like uh, 
the ability to process my own intellectual intellectual thoughts, I would take that as I can wait for that to hit the bargain bit because it's barely doing above average and that I can pass. But yet, again, I go back to he contradicts himself. I can't wait to get back to the game because I got to get this, you know, this annoying thing called a review out of the way. That's three paragraphs long and about that big each paragraph. But yet, some reviews are pages and pages and pages and pages long, um, written by, you know, a little bit more articulate, in-depth, and I read Greg Miller's review, and he cuts out a lot of the plot, a lot of the highlights of the game by just simply, that's kind of like Fallout. Last time I checked, the last big Fallout that was a, a huge success, and if that, that's what he's parodying it off, um, was a monster title. Drill Home, a monster title, had bugs, monster title, did not get a uh, barely pass, barely to above average, but he parodies it, it off of it, says it's Fallout with Zombies, that's, that's a selling point to me, um, and to say that there's some, some graphical bugs, okay, cool, Patches fix a lot of that shit, Fallout fixes a lot of it, um, so, you know, and it's, it's a smaller developer and you, you take away from that and again remember I don't have the game in my hand I'm going off of what I've used my two eyes my own mind what I know about the industry and then I look at what he says and it's like you, you just wrote the, you, you you rushed through the review threw it together just so you could get it out when most people are waiting until the game drops because last time and I, don't quote me on this I don't I haven't gone had the time to check for embargoes or whatever but a lot of people are waiting to the sixth to drop the reviews so just some stuff I want you guys to think about um, and let me know what you guys think about what I have to say and how do you feel about Greg Miller and his very very sad excuse of a review um, alright so you know as always you can follow me on hiphopgamershow.com on Twitter it's T underscore heel zero or on PSN it's T dash hill I like getting hit up on Twitter, so, and I'm on there 24 7. Hit me up there if you want me to get back to you as soon as possible. Alright? I'm out. Peace.